Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI. Today, we're going to be playing as Daniel O'Connell and Ireland, which you probably could tell from the thumbnail. Uh, so, we'll talk a little bit about his bonuses when we get into the game. Uh, now, <clears throat> I have set up my opponents in this game because uh, I've read that there is a bug where if two civilizations have a unique district, uh, the game will kind of break. And uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, our, the Irish modded civilization does indeed have a unique holy site, which also Russia has, which means that if they're both in the game, uh, things might get a little bit wonky. So I decided to just uh, you know, cut Russia out and pick the saves. I kind of picked semi-randomly here. I just, like, I picked whatever, like, I would just, like, scroll down the list and then click on whoever my thing landed on. Um, that just so happens we have, like, a reasonably poor spread of people. Uh, we're going to be playing on DD. We're going to be starting in the Ancient Era. We're going to be playing on Standard Game Speed. We're going to be going for a 16 city-states. Normal for a standard size is 12. I decided to go up to 16 because the AI is still really aggressive against city-states. So I decided to put a few more in there. Uh, we're going to be playing on Pangea. Everything else is basically standard. Let's get started. So we could talk a little bit about um, the Irish civilization that um, Aesoc, I can't remember the guy's name. There will be a link to it in the description of the video. But, uh, you know, we have Twilight of, Twilight of the Gales. Completing Theatre Square projects grants additional faith increased if the city has an abbey. Cities following your religion gain an additional loyalty per citizen present. Very nice. So we are going to want to try to get a religion, and we do have an abbey, which should make that a little bit easier. Then we also have Saints and Scholars. Patroning a great person grants an additional great writer and great musician points. Uh, districts adjacent to a theatre square generate plus one of their respective great person points and plus two if the city follows a religion then we also have the i have no idea how to say this the rep the rapery um which is a pikeman replacement that is i believe cheaper uh is it cheaper no i can't remember what it is um basically it uh, has additional movement it heals after combat and friendly territory and it yields additional great rider and musician points after combat <laughs> So it's like, I don't know, it's a pretty crappy unit. I'm going to be full, full honest here. Let's have a look at this starting location. Uh, far from ideal. We do have the nice banana tile and then a 2-2 tile to work in a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to settle in place here. This is a far from good spot, but it'll do. It's on river. It's got a, it's got some stuff going for it. Um, now, the in terms of what we're going to be picking first... I could go for a slinger, I could go for a warrior, or I could go for a scout. I could also do a fast monument build. That seems like it could be a lot of fun. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for... I've been really liking the warrior opener, where you go for a second warrior. I think I'll go for the scout. I'll do a little bit of light scouting with my warrior. There's some coffee over there. Uh, now, in terms of technology, uh, we're play we're we want to get to theater squares pretty quick, and we also want to get to holy sites pretty quick. So, uh, yes, the abbey. By the way, uh, it's a unique district. It yields additional culture from great works of music and faith on great works of writing, uh, and it grants a great work slot in the city's monument. So it's pretty good. We're going to want to get that abbey up online. Probably right here. Right there. As soon as possible. I love the music too. It's going really, really well. And let's keep scouting. Oh, let's go here. And let's go ahead and choose for... Okay, so we got our scout. I'm going to do a little bit of scouting around. 
Um, I'm kind of tempted to go for a fast settler here. And I will go for a fast settler. The way I can get two abbeys out. I'm going to look for a barb camp. There's Hong Kong and a tribal village. Very nice. Not exactly what I would call a super strong start so far. Uh, it's probably just a mediocre start. Let's go ahead and take the uh, ranger promotion here. Let's keep scouting with you. Oh, goodness gracious. I had the wrong thing open. My god. I do this once in a while. You shouldn't have seen that. All right. <laughs> I had my stream open rather than my normal, um, oh, hello. There's some really, really strong tiles over here. So this is where we're going to be settling. I had my stream settings up. I had my stream profile up where it, um, <laughs> it gives me a notification every time someone subscribes to the channel. And it's not what I'm supposed to have up because I, uh, I'm a dum dumb and I make mistakes and I forget to do things. So I'm probably either going to settle right here or here. I think I'm going to settle right here and then work that tile. Um, there's Astrology. Let's put down the Abbey to lock in the price. I'm not going to build the Abbey until I have the Settler out, though. Um, now... I don't want to unlock any districts early, so I'm going to go for Adible Husbandry. There's foreign trade. You can see the Abbey, it looks quite, quite nice. I can delete this pin now that I have an Abbey placed, and we'll come down here, we'll do a little scouting. Oh, another tribal village. Nope. And another tribal village. Excellent. There's Code of Laws, let's pull in plus one production and then double experience for scouts because we're not fighting any barbs right now. A free builder. Oh, there's an interesting one. Knowledge of sailing. Now we don't really have any tiles we can improve right now. Let's go for mining. Put that builder to his to sleep because we have nothing we can do with him. Uh, I want to get to drama and poetry pretty early, so I might go for mysticism. We'll kind of see about that. Pop up here. Yeah, I'm thinking of settling right there. And then I'll put another city in the middle there. There's France. Let's send them a delegation. They have the Book of Thought. Okay, they already have a relic. That's kind of annoying. Be gone, a thought. All right, let's keep scouting. Well, there's Armagh. Let's see if Armagh has a mission that we're capable of doing. Recruit a great scientist. Neither of those are things I plan on doing. It's a little bit unfortunate. There's Toronto. Toronto looks like it's in a fight. And recruit a great scientist. Wow, really? Hmm, interesting. Okay, I need to get this uh, warrior over here to defend my capital. Keep scouting. There's another city-state down here. Yeah, it looks like Armar is going to get killed, which is unfortunate. Keep coming this way. There's Lisbon. Settler is finished. Let's send the settler down to this tile. You come over this way. The abbey will take 
three turns, you cross here. It's a very nice, nice district that we're going to be getting up here. So the kind of goal here is the strategy is, you know, uh, I think we're going to be going for a cultural victory. It seems like we have the most bonuses towards a cultural victory. Um, we have lots of faith and cult sort of, and that sort of points me in that direction. There's a barb camp. Come this way. We'll go to the next turn. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. All right, there's the Abbey. Let's run over here. And uh, let's go for a shrine. Do I go for the shrine here? Kind of tempted to go for a second warrior. Um, monument would be good as well. The really cool thing about the Abbey is that it actually acts as a encampment district as well. Uh, you can shoot from it, which is really, really powerful. So you could potentially have like triple city shots from your cities, which means Ireland is pretty hard to attack um, traditionally. I could go for another settler. It's a hundred production. I think I would rather... I think I'm going to build a quarry and then grab masonry so that I can harvest stone to get settlers out once I have Magnus. Um, I'm tempted to get a warrior. A yeah, second warrior is a good move, I think. It'll keep me a little bit safer. Let's send the delegation to Wilhelmina. She has nothing that I can buy or sell. In the meantime, you can go to sleep. Pop up here. I think I might even send my settler down here to go build on this mine. It's a lot of gold. There's a really, really nice tile here that I'm going to grab. Another city-state just fell. Keep scouting. Judah needs orders. Okay, it looks like we... If we can get some settlements out, it looks like we do have fairly good land. By all means, this is going to be a very slow game, though. Um, we didn't have a very... We didn't have a particularly fantastic start. So this is going to be a fairly slow game. Okay, there's Animal Husbandry. And we settle next to P.O. P.O. Tahi or whatever it's called. Why don't you come down here? We could delete this pin now. Uh, I would like to build an Abbey. I think I'm going to build it right there because it's a plus two. Get the double Abbey out. There's Yaya Varman. Jaya Varman. I have no idea how to actually say his name. I just always, I like make up a new way to say it each time. Oh, wow. There's actually the Galapagos over here. We may, we may try to settle that as well. We'll have a look around. Because if I were to settle both the Galapagos and the thing, that could be really, really powerful for me. Okay, France is being disagreeable. Every nation lives the natural history of this. Every nation lives by exchanging. Yeah, I have a second warrior now. That should provide me the defense I need. Now, the question is, what do I go for now? And I think it's more settlers. I would like to get the Oracle. But I think if I'm to do that, I need to have Magnus. Um...
I don't need monuments because I'm getting extra culture from over here. I think if I just go for a settler, I could make a difference. I'll be... Hmm, I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to think here. If I go for... <laughs> the earlier you get out your settlers, the better. So I'm just going to crack out a settler here as fast as possible. But I want to build that mine here on this resource because that'll give me a couple of tech boosts. Keep scouting over here. We'll go to the next turn. There's Lautaro. Not sure where we met him. Come up this way. Let's send him a delegation. Kind of using up a lot of my gold, but... It should be fine. We're making more and more. Settle on horses? On horses appeals to me. You need to come back over here. There's a boost for the wheel, and then I want to get the irrigation boost as well on the wheat. So France has closed their borders. The delegation is most welcome. Once we have early empire, we can start getting open borders with people, and hopefully that will improve our relations. Scout up here. Come along, see if we can sneak through and start exploring up over here a little bit. He's getting ready to declare war on me. There's craftsmanship and irrigation boosted. Very nice. Come along this way. Toronto is being killed. Cross here. And, okay, we finished the Abbey over here, so that means this will spawn a religion for me. Um, and now I feel like I can safely work the food just to grow nice and quick. In here and hopefully get the early Empire boost. Seven turns. I'd be better off working other things, because it's going to only... I'll, I should get to it in time. Um, in the meantime... You're going to grow in seven turns. May as well get the trader out. Right? No. What if I were instead to... Let's see. If I just quickly grab the slinger. Uh, slingers aren't very good. Grab me a warrior. Another warrior, just to have an extra unit to defend. Warriors are almost past their point of usefulness. But it's still worth it to have another one, I think. In case barbs appear. And we'll move over here. I could try to snipe Toronto, but I don't think I care too much. See if we can get, see if we can snipe this barb camp. Okay, he got it. Unfortunate. Cross here. You're about to grow. Okay, everyone seems to be fairly happy with me. That's really, really good. Did I not finish Early Empire? Wow, it's like one culture from finishing. Nice. Delightful. Let's grab pottery. And sailing. I'm trying to avoid unlocking districts until I have... Um, Dravid Poetry Unlocked.
Let's just make sure we get early empire. You come along this way. Hey, there's Norway. Nice to meet you, Norway. Send them a delegation. Goodbye. We'll come along this way. We'll go to the next turn. It was luxuries like air. There's early empire. Let's put in the settler production. And uh, let's put in barbarian uh, fighting strength as well. So we're doing a little bit of scouting. We'll get started on settlers over here as well. We'll have a pantheon soon. Am I going to go for the oracle? No, I think I'm just going to harvest out settlers. We'll get this settler out. Let's do mutual open borders. You'll probably pay me. Excellent. I'm going to try and get open borders with everybody now because I want to make sure everyone's my friend. I'll start looking for and declaring friendships next turn. So let's do uh, make a deal. Open borders. You'll pay me. Excellent. Those little bits of gold per turn. Declare friendship. Declare friendship. Make a deal. How about open borders? Here we go. Uh, declare friendship. Lao Taro. Do open borders. You'll pay me. Thank you. Okay, you're not ready for friendship. Make a deal. Open borders. You'll pay me. And we'll make friendship. Unfortunately, my standing location didn't really offer me any luxuries to settle on. So, a little bit of a weak start in that sense. I think we'll go settle on the horses because. Hmm, Right here is really, really good, though. On the Horses offers me the opportunity to do a triangle, though. A gold triangle, as I like to call them. Alright, I think we've scouted enough with these, this warrior. Let's bring him home. There's Saladin. Now, I do need to be careful. Use how many more religions are there? There's three more religions, so I need to be in the next... ...couple. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't get a religion. It would just be nice to have a religion. Keep the settler policy in. There's a pantheon. I want to go for a divine spark. Right there. That will net me another uh, two points of great profit stuff. Since we're going for, I assume, a cultural game. Although, God, I need to stop going for cultural games. I've been going for too many. Um, the last while, like pretty much all my games have been cultural. It is a very, very slow... St oh, I, I meant... I, I thought I was finished with you, so... I need to come back down to here. The map is still really, really open, so we can pick up a lot here. Did I get open borders with you? No, you'll, you'll pay me. And Wilhelmina. Okay, there's friendship. I have friendships with most of the AI, so that means most of them won't be declaring war on me. Quite good. Lots of city-states getting killed. Magnus is now established in Dublin. There's Valletta and Mount Roraima. Valletta would have been a really nice one to meet early. I actually think it's worth it to train that heavy chariot for the plus two production. I might purchase the heavy chariot. And um, for the plus two production of my capital towards settlers would be really, 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 really nice. Oh, Lautaro is down here. It's kind of scary. He's uh, He can be very aggressive in the mid-game. Does anyone not have horses? Let's have a look. 
Oh, I thought I'd sent you a delegation. I must have not. So you should pay like 200 gold here. Maybe like 204? There you go, man. So there's 400 gold. That'll definitely mean I can purchase a heavy chariot. Uh, I think I'm really tempted to go for um, an abbey here. Three abbeys will mean that um, my theater squares will get discounted. Get a delegation from you. So let's get some harvesting going. Settler production. You go here, fortify in defensive. Keep scouting, we'll go to the next turn. Harvesting the stone early in the game. It does have downsides. But it does mean we get settlers out much, 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 much quicker. We go to the next turn. The sooner I get my settlers out, the better. These are, these are already super late. Um, so I think free inquiry is just always the best one. Oh wow, I really got, I got, uh, I got done on religion. That's unfortunate. Well, it's not the end of the world. Um. The only real bonus that requires me to have a religion is this extra loyalty, so that's not even a big deal. We're still going to go for faith because faith is really, really good for cultural victories. I want to settle close here. Let's go for political philosophy. Pick up more settlers. We'll harvest the stone over here. We're going to promote you with provision because we want, when we chop out our settlers, we want you to get, um, we don't want you to lose population. Let's keep scouting. We'll go to the next turn. My seas are unprotected. I know. It is by design. Now I'm tempted to settle on the incense to sell it. But this is a little bit more aggressive over here. This is pretty defensive if I were to do this. It's a little bit too close to my city. So I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. Okay, we'll go to the next turn. Uh, let's see. Next turn. Would you head over there? Would you fortify here? Well, unit needs orders. We'll go there. Don't reinvent the wheel. Watermill, heavy chariot. So the heavy chariot, I want to purchase that because I want the... Envoy point with Valetta, that'll give me plus two. Um, that will give me plus two production towards units in this city. And it'll also make my cities a little bit scarier to attack. Let's grab irrigation so we can unlock some of these uh, luxuries. And in fact, I'll even purchase a builder here in Dundalk so I can get these going. Kind of tempted to get the government plaza here, but the city will never have the production to really build it in a reasonable amount of time. Let's just throw down the abbey. Um, but we don't actually need to work on it right now, since we're not doing anything with it. Instead, what we'll do is we'll get to work on the water mill.
You hold it there, we'll go to the next turn. Apologies, I'll look elsewhere. Fine. So let's get the coffee online in a couple turns. Right here. Settle right there. Hmm. What's our highest priority city right now? It's hard to tell. Why don't you come over here and do a bit of scouting? Um... This would grab that jade. Conclusively grab that jade and prevent anyone else from getting it. So let's see if we can secure the jade. Get another settler. Keep scouting. We'll harvest here. There's four pop, or four, uh, four turns until our next settler. Those are three stones, well harvested in my opinion. The man who has but I tell you what, I'm going to call that the end of this episode so far. So I want to thank you guys very, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.